To start off with this DIY, you're just going to take the embroidered hoops and unscrew it so you can get the two hoops out so that we can put the fabric in between the two hoops. So I'm just smoothing out the fabric and then I'm just going to cut with my scissors a square around the fabric to fit in the circle. Now I'm taking the other hoop and just putting that on the bottom and then putting the fabric, it's like a sandwich, and then putting the other hoop on top. Make sure you have the hoop in the middle because see it didn't work very well so I had to redo it. And it also probably best if you use two layers of fabric just to make it a little sturdier. I only used one but I should, probably should have used two. And now I'm just screwing that together and it tightens the hoop around the other hoop so it stays put and it's nice and taut. Now that's done, I was trying to figure out what to do with the excess fabric on the back. I was kind of thinking about hot gluing it down, but then I wouldn't be able to change it out easily. So I thought, hey, let's just cut it off. So that's what I'm about to do. Still cutting. If you have sharper scissors, this will probably go a lot faster than it did for me. Woohoo! That's all done. Now you have a pretty hoop with some pretty colored fabric. Now it's flower time. So on the back of the flowers, there's a little plastic bit that attaches to the stem. So we are just going to cut that off so that the flower will lay more flat against the fabric so we can hot glue it down. And it's just really easy to cut those things off with some scissors, so I'm just doing that to all the flowers I might be using. Now it's hot glue time. So I'm taking the hot glue gun. I basically plugged it in already so it's warming up while I figure out where I want to put my flowers at. I wasn't really sure how I wanted to situate the flowers on here. You could totally skip this step if you wanted to. It's not necessary. If you have more pins, totally skip this step so you have more room. But I didn't have a lot of pins so I was like, oh hey, I'll just put a little floral design on the bottom because I love flowers. So I'm just trying to figure out like how to position that. I also used some of the leaves in this design which I just cut off and then just hot glued directly onto the fabric here. And I think I figured out how I'm gonna do my flower. So I'm just loading up the flower with a lot of hot glue and sticking that on to the fabric. And it didn't stick that well instantly, so just hold it in place for a few seconds so it can get all stuck on there properly. See, I'm holding it down, letting it stick and I had to add more glue to make it stick more. <laughs> the hot glue gun is my friend. And I was still kind of figuring out what I wanted to do down there. I wasn't really sure still, but I went with the pink flowers. I thought that looked nice. I'm still trying things. I wasn't satisfied for a while. <laughs> Still trying. Oh, going back to the pink now. Okay. So I'm just taking the hot glue gun again and gluing the pink flowers on. Those are pretty easy to actually stick on because they're more flat. See? Look. It's so nice. Oh, I think it needed something else. Like I wasn't sure about it. So I took the leaves and just kind of stuck those on as well, kind of putting them underneath the flower so you couldn't really see them till they're coming out. And that worked really, really well. And I'll show you that in like two seconds. And here it is. Boom. Now I'm just taking my pens and arranging them kind of like how I want it on the hoop here. Now I'm just taking the backs of the pins off and poking through the fabric. This part was super easy. It was easy also if I didn't put it in the right spot, I just pulled it out and poked another hole and it went by really fast. And this was probably the funnest part because 
you get to organize your pins how you want them. <laughs> and I'll put links to all the pins down below in the description as well as where I bought all the supplies for this DIY. And I also have room to add more pins as I go along if I get more and start collecting them as well. So yay, there it is, it's all done. Looks so pretty. Oh, here's some final shots of my DIY for a pin display. I just use a thumbtack to hang it up on my wall. Super easy. Hope you guys like this DIY and make sure to subscribe. Bye!